Greetings people, Yard of Reviews. Right now we're going to be talking about Gotham Season 1, Episode four? It? 4, yeah. yes, titled Arkham. I'm catching up, I can get yeah, involved with in these conversations yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to start watching Gotham, yo. So, um, you know, what do what you think about the show or so far? Um, so I'm on, I'm on episode two. I'm okay. really liking the fact that they're delving into how the penguin becomes the penguin. Yes, and yes. It's really interesting. Yes. And, and I'm loving Jada Pinkett's character. Yeah, I think she's solid. She's stunning yeah. in as Fish Moon. It's kind of an odd name, but... Yeah, I yeah. Odd like. name, but a really dope character. Yeah. Listen, right now, I'm having... No issues with Gotham. <laughs> it's it's going on really good for me. This episode titled Arkham, appropriately titled Arkham, is very crazy. This basically is um, you know, in the beginning you see this you know this hitman who basically you know kills people with this this spike, this metal spike he puts together and you know spikes people in their eyes and you know it's crazy. So he kills um these two councilmen. Hmm. And basically what happens is you realize that these councilmen are working for they're working for um Falcone. Hmm. So they're basically trying to um get to the mayor to have Falcone um rebuild Arkham and also do a lower income housing projects and stuff like that. But then there's also a rival who's Maroni. Hmm. Who is the next family in um in Gotham, um, crime family in Gotham? He basically wants to do a waste disposal unit in Arkham, as well as um you know remodel the the the, the um the old um asylum, as well. Uh, but he wasn't really interested in the low income low income housing. Mm. Um, so he basically you know wants to get his plan through. So while this is going on, you know the penguin is there, and you know he has this spot now. How the last episode ended was the, the big cliffhanger was with, you know, Penguin coming over to Commissioner Gordon's house while Commissioner Gordon had supposedly killed him and told him never to come back to Gotham. Detective Gordon, sorry. <laughs> Detective Gordon. We're not, we're not getting ahead of ourselves here. So, um, Detective Gordon. So he comes over to his house and, you know, Gordon is basically telling him, listen, you need to, you need to leave. And he says, you know, I can't leave. Gotham is my home. And he basically says, listen, I can help you. Uh, I know some people on the inside, there's going to be a big war coming, but I can lead you in the right direction. You're the only good man in Gotham, and I want to really give you the chance to save the city and stuff. And he says, all right, fine, no, no worries. Is that ironic? S yes. Yeah. Stay, he said, stay low or whatever. So um, that happens. And then um, Barbara Gordon kind of gets concerned now, and she asks him, you know, who's Oswald? And then the whole drama comes out about her having the relationship with Montoya, mm. Detective Montoya, who is that was you know, the something female. I didn't see. Yeah, that was that was kind that was kind of crazy. So um all of that, you know, opens up a big can of worms. She asked, you know, um Gordon if he was, you know, upset, Detective Gordon if he was upset, he said that he was just upset that she lied to her, not because it's a female mm. that she was in a relationship with, but because, you know, he kept she she kept it from him mm. and you know they should trust each other. But he basically can't tell her who Oswald Copperpot is because, you know, this goes into what he's doing at Gotham and if he lets her know and then she knows that he's still alive then you know she's put in danger as well so he's basically trying to hide protect her from the whole drama of what's going down more or less um so the relationship gets pretty messed up anyway they get the case him and Bullock get the case so him and Bullock are doing their normal detective work. Bullock, of course, has his way of doing things, interrogating people that have nothing to do with the case. <laughs> and, you know, it's crazy watching the dynamic between them because Bullock is just this one cop where he has his ways. Mm. And, you know... I like, I like yeah, how they work. Yeah, 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 they, yeah, they like they that. And I think it's, each other. Yeah, and it's like well. they complement each other really well. And the thing is, at the end of the day, regardless of how they work and how they do their thing, they always come through mm. um, for each other at the end of the day as partners. You know what I mean? Regardless of the relationship they have yeah. with each other. They come through. When it's time to save the day, they come through and save the day for each other when they have to. But anyway, they they get into they get into this now. They find out um, who this hired hitman is. Um, one of Harvey Bullock's, um, the, the serial killer that he knows, they went, they went to his place. He gives them this name of this guy. They go to this guy's workplace, but then they realize that this guy, um, whose identity he obviously stole, was already dead, mm. and um, he'd been having this guy's identity for like about five years. So they still really don't have a name to the person. But then, this whole big drama ensues. Now, Maroni's place get hit. Place of business gets hit. 
by these guys. These guys rub, but then all of a sudden, Penguin is still alive, locked in the freezer with one of the bags of money. Maroney's um, restaurant manager gets shot and killed during this robbery. So basically, Maroney says this is an act of war for Falcone. During this time, Fish Mooney is trying to recruit a female singer. Mm. But she doesn't want a singer, she wants a temptress who can basically get into Falcone's pants and kill him. So she has these girls on audition. Mm. And that's all I'm going to say with that. When it gets to the end, I can, I can get into more of what's going on with that. So, um, basically, the next scene cuts to them, um, them finding out um, where the guy works. He, he, sees the, uh, he goes to the guy's desk where you know, the guy supposedly works. Him and Bullock are there. Um, the, guy, the hitman eventually leaves them. After What's-His-Name's place gets hit, um, Penguin, he, Penguin calls Gordon and tells Gordon that, listen, Maroney got hit, he's going to target Falcone, somebody else is going to be targeted, I think he's going to be the mayor, because the mayor is the one that has the final decision. Mm. So, the mayor is corrupt as well, right? Yeah, of course. So yeah. Um, Ben um, Gordon, Detective Gordon, goes to the mayor saying he's in danger. The hitman um, eventually comes. He calls um, Bullock, left, leaves a message on his phone and said, Bullock, listen, it's the mayor they're going after. You need to meet me here, whatever, whatever. Anyway, the hitman comes. They kind of tussle it out for a while. And the hitman basically um, tries to go and kill the mayor while they were tussling it out. And then... Him and um, Bullock um, end up shooting the hitman, killing him. So they saved the mayor. And then what happened was that the mayor makes his announcement. This whole time, um, Bruce is trying. Because Bruce's parents, they wanted to redevelop Arkham and they wanted plans to start out Arkham. So he's doing the research into maybe his parents was killed because of this whole Arkham drama. Mm. So he's asking Alfred for all the information and all I the like files Alfred. and all that stuff. Alfred is dope in, in, he's in this so series. Funny. Yeah, really and cool. And it's strange seeing him in this character because he always plays the bad guy. The guy who plays... Um, oh, that same yeah, guy yeah, who plays yeah, Alfred, yeah yeah. yeah. yeah, so Bruce is kind of like learning about Arkham and kind of, you know, trying to, you know, know the plans of what's going on and, you know, becoming more of a detective. So you're seeing him, like, you know, gaining his detective skills, you know, with all these files and stuff. And then um, the mayor makes this announcement saying that the place is going to also be used as, like, a landfill. Um, they're still going to be low-income housing and they are going to rebuild Arkham Asylum. So basically the plan um, for Maroney's landfill is going through. So you get to see that there's this weakness. And then now that same clip that I tell you about with Fish Mooney, mm. she picks these two girls now and she says that, listen, it's between the two of them. One of them have talent. One of them don't have talent. One of them can seduce. One of them is all right. But they need to figure out who gets the job. So the two, and then they're like, so we, have to have like a fight. So, so we have to fight each other. And then <laughs> one of them starts taking off her earrings. Oh, the next yeah. one come, two of them fighting. Anyway, the one that you think wins, wins. Yeah. And... She says, so I get the job, and then Fish starts smiling, and then, yeah, and then, you know, thing, you, you just realize that things are being set in motion. Mm. The craziest thing, the big thing about it is that the, the, the scene at the end that gets you is that the penguin comes in, in his brand new suit, because he's now the manager of the restaurant, because he saved that money for Maroney and Maroney realizes oh, that and, okay. get, and promotes him but then when he comes you realize <laughs> that he was the one that set up the robbery for Maroney it wasn't Falcone so he's putting sides against each other and he steals the other half That's of the so money clever. from those guys and poison them with some cannolis listen Penguin yeah. right now <laughs> is doing some crazy stuff you get getting to see him evolve you get getting to see how, how psychotic he is and you get getting to see how sinister that dude is. Yeah. Listen, that was just the end of it for me. That blew my mind away. <laughs> that was just that that took that episode for me. I'm watching that tonight. So Gotham yeah. right now is doing no wrong. Can't wait for the next episode. Guys, do remember, subscribe to the show. Also, um, you know, email us at yardy.reviews. <laughs> too excited. Yardy, yeah, that reviews at gmail.com. Yeah, too excited because Gotham was crazy. <laughs> as well as um tweet us. Tweet us at Yardy Reviews. As well as guys, Comic Con, like I said before, we're going to be there in full effect. Saturday, um, content coming to you guys. Sunday, content coming to you guys. So look forward for it. Anyway, this is me and Earth signing out from Yard Reviews. Big up yourself. <laughs>